Okay, g'day everybody. I'm just here with my lovely daughter in law, Bruna. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are going to do um, a resin pour, and Bruna has never done any resin. Have you done any art ever? You did art in school? Just a little bit. A little bit in school? Nothing important. <laughs> No, okay, so nothing like this, no yeah. resin or anything. So I'm going to be doing one and then she's going to follow and just to show that anybody can do this. So what we're going to do now is, okay, so we're going to be mixing some resin now. So this is this video is going to be really good for newbies. Can you see? Yeah. So I'm going in with part B, which is our hardener. So Bruna, this is, if you used only one, it's not going to work, so we need one of these straight in there. That's how I measure. And then I need my stick to try and get rid of all of that in there. Mm -hmm. Like so. So that was the hardener. Put that one away. One and I mark the lid because if you put the wrong lid on there, you'll have a bugger of a time trying to get it off. <laughs> So now we're going to put two parts of this. Mm -hmm. Now some resins are one one. This one is a, a two to one. So that's one going in here. And now I'll get you to stir it. And you've got to stir it nice and gentle. And because today is a little bit cooler outside, it'll probably take a little bit longer mm -hmm. to... Sorry, I just keep talking because I'm talking to everybody up there listening and learning there we go oh <laughs> always get that okay so now i'm going to get bruna to stir it see how it's all not mixed mm -hmm. i'll move this out of the way for a minute and i'll get you to stir it nicely while i talk a little bit about the colors so bruna has chosen we're using Artisu pigments and we've got the cobalt here, um, epoxy pigment, and we've got the uh, lipstick red. Look at that, beautiful, just like my, my shirt. Yeah. And then we've got the, the white, epoxy white. Yes, I scraped the sides. Beautiful. And we, as she has chosen the bronze, which I'm going to have to stir a little bit. And the rhodolite, which is a metallic pinky color, really pretty. So we've got all of them. And then we might even use some of this alumalite powder, which is a pearlescent powder. It's quite gorgeous. You can even mix it in some of the paints. Mm -hmm. Or pigments rather how we go in there yep keep going don't worry about the bubbles you're going to get the bubbles but okay. like i said because it's it's cooler today it's going to take a bit longer so i'll just stop the video and we'll come back when it's ready good okay okay so we're ready to start now so all i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little bit of uh just every now and then you have to mix these pigments because sometimes um they are heavy, the pigment is too heavy and it drops to the bottom, but you don't need a lot. So all I'm going to do is that. That's one, and I'll get Bruna to stir this one in. I'm not going to need a, a whole lot. There you go. Actually, I'm just going to pour it in everywhere a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be trying out some new colors from um, Artisu that I haven't tried before. So it's going to be a good um, time to play together. Okay, so we'll just leave that aside for now. You got that one? Beautiful, that's excellent. Um, so that's the Rotolite, straight away put away. And I'm going to get this beautiful lipstick red. Whoa, look how strong that is. Don't need a lot, just about that much. Okay, straight in there. Okay, just stir that in and I'm going to yeah. nice huh Look at this pigment with metallics if you don't use them often 
you have to give it a good stir and then you get this really really bright color I don't mind doing that every now and then so that's all you need for that one. so don't worry about that it's all messy because it's going to add to the painting it's going to make it more fun and oh cobalt a little bit in there like that just going to make sure i match the lids properly oh we need this one yeah you like it beautiful i'm just going to keep them here in case we need to add some more and yeah the white so i'm going to be using some of the white as well so i'm just going to put a bit more in there put some white in there and i'll get you to mix that one as well and then i want to have a few colors as well just some of this raspberry Oh, rich look at that yeah beautiful and you don't need a lot pop it in there like so so I'll, I'll probably pinch some of yours as well mm -hmm. we'll share probably just these ones I haven't used so I'll get you, if you could mix that one for me please put that in there now also love this Caribbean sea. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a metallic. Look at that. Ooh, this is amazing. I know. They're all really pretty colors. Really luscious and thick. So that's that one. And then, so I'm using some really interesting color combinations. I've got this powder as well. I haven't used Artisu powders before. And it's really important to be careful when you're using powders so you don't want to breathe it in but we do have masks here mm, I'm just going to get a tiny little bit about that much straight in there in there see this was a powder and see you go it's going to mix the same and I might just add a little bit of my own since I've got a lot of paint on this I was mixing different colors to make this sandy color so I just scrape some and put in there don't like to waste anything oh we got lots now to play with it was a tiny little jar <laughs> this always happens not to worry oh. <laughs> I, I saw it before there's a ghost in here so here we go this shiny powder goes straight in there very gentle with that because of the particles I want to breathe that in. Once it's in, it's okay. Mm. So there's a little bit of that sand color and a little bit of that. Oh, and what about this one? What happened with that? What color was that one for? I forgot now. Was this one one of yours? This is also. Oh, is this that um, powder? Yeah. Wow, that is so cool because it's got yeah. a little bit of like a blue tinge to it. Mm -hmm. It's purple and a little bit uh, blue. And dark. Yeah, that is so cool. Okay, put that aside. Um, this one we can. Oh, yeah, that's for my gold. I thought I was losing my mind then, but. <laughs> yeah, we'll put a little bit of that gold in there. Once again, you've got to stir it. Are you still recording? Sometimes it stops recording. Yeah, if you can stir that for me, that'll be great. Cool. 
just want to move all this stuff out of the way so we've got room to work. Okay, we have uh, masks each. It's probably advisable to use a, a respirator for the fumes, but this is a P2 masks, mask and it's used for asbest, asbestos removal, so they're pretty good. Uh, and it really blocks the fumes as well and any particles of any of the um, powder this will stop it so somebody's asked me about that and um, I do like to use a respirator but for these little quickies and we've got the place ventilated um, and uh, it's it's pretty safe okay so we're just gonna pop our master on now and then we're gonna start we're gonna do free form right all right. Okay, so I'm going to start with my red because I haven't used this one before. And freeform. Just, there we go. You press this? Yeah. Whichever way. You don't have to use it all up. But I think I just want to layer colours. Beautiful. And because I'm empty, I'm just going to flip it over and let that stay there. And I want to try this one now. Beautiful. Look at that. Big concentration here. Oh, I love this. What is it? Oh, it's indigo. Yeah. It looks purple, but it's actually like an iridescent um, indigo color. Look at that. Wow. And I might just even follow that that way. How are you going? Beautiful. Sure. That's like okay. <laughs> I like this. Tilt it if you want. You don't have to. I'm just just going my way. See how that that indigo went over my red and turned it into beautiful. Look at that. So we only have half an hour to work, and half an hour goes very very fast. So we want to keep cracking. So I've got this Caribbean. It's quite beautiful. I'm going to follow that. How does it feel? Feels weird? Yeah, you like a it? A little bit weird. It's different. Put the seasoning in there. Yeah. Ooh. I'm leaving some if you want to use some of these. Have some of my gold. Straight through there. Can I put my fingers? Yes, of course you can. That's my girl. I like using fingers. So see what I'm doing? I'm just putting this clear on top of mine. Like so. So use it all up. How are you going there? Something weird but something nice. Something weird but something nice. Yeah. What we're going to do is I'm going to get some of this torch. <laughs> the needle? Yeah. I'm just going to torch it a little bit just to get rid of the bubbles so that we use this thing to do that. See how they're popping? Yeah. I'll do some of mine.
Wow, that's really awesome. I like that. That's so pretty, that color. Yeah. Did you use your red yet? No, you didn't. Not yet. That's all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play with this. I'm going to get my hair dryer out. Oh, that gold. It's gorgeous. There's so many different styles of techniques. You like it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make a little bit of noise now. Just going to make sure that's on hot. Hair dryer, guys. It's The setting is on hot. So I've got three settings here. It's on the hottest and just the... Um, the lowest speed because I don't want all this blowing out of the, the whole place or oh, there's this one as well if you want to use it oh wow that is so cool lipstick red I'll just show you this real quick watch this I think this will be very nice here. Yeah, you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Here. Well, it's yours. This so this one, try it over here first. That's a low. It's very hot. Put your hand on the first so it doesn't blow the whole place. That's it. Okay. So go over it. Straight over it. Straight. That's it. Yeah, like that. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah. Suggestion, put some more colour everywhere. Turn that off. Put some more colour everywhere. And then we'll do it. See how it's changed it? Yeah. Oh, and look at this. Wow. Look, look at all these dots. Nice. Yeah. We call them cells. And that's, I just want to fix this area here. You can maybe a pinch maybe some of your bronze. And I'm going to blow over the other way. I want to grab some of this white too. So you can feel it's starting to get a little bit thicker now. Yeah. That means it's starting to set. We still have plenty of time. So I'm going to do it again with this one. I'm going to be turning it over this way. Okay, here we go. There you go. Wow. Finish. Finish? Yeah. We're going to have enough to do another little one. Okay. So, suggestion. Just fill in some of these gaps mm -hmm. with any. Any colour you want. Maybe put a little bit of white around here. There. And there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put the, um, some more metallic here because it's nice when... You, well, these metallics, they just make everything look really pretty. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Maybe we use not the hair dryer because you got a lot of paint, it's going to fly everywhere. Wow, look at that. But we can use the um, heat gun. I'll leave mine for a second. Mm -hmm. I've got this tool. This is uh, a heat gun. Okay. A couple of minutes later, this is really hot. Mm -hmm. The bottom one is fast. Okay, I'll let you try it. Just try to play with it a little bit. Uh -huh, you got to stand up to it. Yeah, because you can do it. Good, 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 good. 
A second and watch see how it's it's doing its thing mm -hmm. and you can go around with the finger or with the stick I'll give you another stick and fix up the yeah the holes I'll give you a clean one there you go wow
and just show this one look so cool so cool wow look at that very interesting lots of cells the hair dryer <laughs> it's a good trick